Hey guys, it's Jeff. Got another video for you. This one's going to be on the Hogue Grip for medium frame revolvers coming up after this. All right, guys, I'm back. So if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll know that I picked this uh, Taurus uh, M66 up the other day. And I had a 686 from Smith & Wesson back in the 90s. I love that gun. Um, but I gave it up. You know, I had young kids at the house in the house at the time, and I could use the extra cash. So I gave that revolver up, but I've always had a place in my heart for wheel guns. Well, so I had an opportunity to pick this guy up the other day. Beautiful little gun. Um, and it reminds me a lot of the 686. However, the grip on this guy is this. Big, bulky, hard rubber, not very ergonomic. Uh, just didn't like the, the factory grip that comes on the M66, so I picked this guy up uh, off of Amazon.com. Comes in a packaging like this, nothing really to write home about, and you can see here the different models that this particular grip works on. And I have other examples of Hogue grips here. You'll see this is the 627 from Smith and Wet, or from uh, Taurus as well. Also sporting a hoe grip, did another review on that. It's Model 82. Uh, this grip happens to actually work on this uh, gun as well. However, I like this wood grip on here. It feels pretty good, so I've just left this on here. Um, but back to this guy. So some of the things that I learned when I was putting this on, I was looking for videos, you know, how to's, things to uh, be aware of when you put it on. And one of the things that is hinted at but not really doesn't really go into a lot of great detail about is there's a pin on the smith and wesson down here at the, in the middle of the frame on the bottom that the plate that hogue sends you fits over well on the taurus you have there's a different pin and it's set back a little bit further on the butt and you have to pit, punch that pin out of the frame so you can put the supplied nut and screw uh, at the base of the revolver and then there's a channel that slides down into the revolver or into the handle rather that you slide that nut in to the base of the gun and then you take that screw you feed it up into the up into the hole there into the threads and you crank it down uh, you don't crank it down too tight or else you'll ruin the the uh, the grip you just take uh, crank it down tight enough so all I really did uh, when it comes to that grip, that little pin on the bottom of the, uh, the frame of the gun, is I got a piece of wood out uh, and I just got a rubber mallet out and I was able, able to tap it out most of the way. Once I got it to a good distance out, I could grab it with a pair of pliers and just pull it the rest of the way out. So anyway, just a quick video guys. I uh, just wanted to kind of cover that real quick. There weren't a lot of videos out there going over the process for this gun. Uh, I thought it had a little bit of a different setup so i thought i'd do a quick video for y'all if you're in the market or you have one of these guns and you're trying to figure out if the hoe grip is right for you this is how you do it anyway hope you like this video guys if you did give it a thumbs up if you have any questions throw them in the comment section below I always like to engage with you if you have any questions about this install or if you're a packmeyer fan if there's any nuances about the packmeyer grips or you know any other are you a wood grip fan throw them in the comment section let's talk about it I always enjoy engaging with you guys so until next time, guys, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook.com, BitChute.com, in case uh, you know YouTube continues to crack down on gun channels, and uh, GunStreamer.com as well. So that's it. I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.